What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 25 online ring match. And today, we are going with the Bengals going up against, in my opinion, the best team in the game. And Madden, you could make, you know, uh, argument for, you know, maybe the Chiefs or Seahawks. But in my opinion, not just being a biased Niner fan, I just believe having a team that can hit hard and, you know, create a lot of uh, havoc. Uh, on the field for you by themselves is uh, definitely a thing that not too many teams can do. So, in my opinion, this is the best team in the game, but can't fault you for if you think Seahawks or another team is. Um, so, if you guys saw the last game that uh, I posted with the Colts, you know, I went ahead and uh, lost that game, and it was very, very frustrating. Uh, you know, so I went ahead and immediately got a game, you know, right after that in an uh, online ranked match, and I was still doing the live stream, so you'll still see, you know, so-and-so followed, so-and-so followed. That will still be popping up, and uh, this game was immediately after. So I wanted to redeem myself, you know what I mean? I uh, definitely got a loss that I, I wasn't happy with, you know, uh, fumbling during an onside kick uh, definitely bothered me. I really feel like I just uh, got a victory snatch from me. I wasn't able to stop him, and he wasn't able to stop me, so I, I knew once I had that ball, uh, he wasn't going to be able to stop me. He knew it too. So he won an onside kick and got a fumble. And uh, that right there changed the outcome of the game. So we jump into this game. And it was like, oh, great. I got to deal with the Niners. You know what I mean? So I'm not, not going to back out, you know, because uh, it's a frustrating team to go against. You know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, the, the team can be beat. I've done it plenty of times before. So, and I got myself a pretty, pretty good uh, defensive team as well. You know, offensively, I really don't like too much what they have to offer. You know, uh, Dalton isn't the best QB in the world, uh, so I started uh, Johnson as he hits me with a major stiffy. I started Johnson, who uh, could give me some speed, but they don't really have any running backs, and I'm a run-heavy guy, you know what I mean? So they don't really have any running backs to my liking. Yeah, they got a Gio, um, uh, Giovanni, but uh, his speed should be quicker than what he is. His speed is like 92 or something like that. He should definitely be like a 95-ish, 96-ish kind of guy, but... Uh, nonetheless, man, uh, they do have A.J. Green, who's a stud. You can't take that away from him. He's a monster. Outside of that, not really too much I look forward to. You know, I'm all about running. So, um, you know, going up against a, a heavy run team, heavy run stopping team, you know, uh, I really don't feel like I have the the uh, running team to go on ahead and have success. So, um, definitely going to try and, you know, do what I can through the air. And, of course, same thing with this guy. Uh, I, I believe he's in the top 100 as well, and uh, just all out Fagdi just rushes one with a spy. Did you see it here? A 1-1-9 defense, and I'm I'm already frustrated. It's, it's very easy to frustrate me in a game of Madden. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, like turnovers frustrate anybody. You know, interceptions. Well, not so much interceptions. You know, interceptions are for the most part going to be your fault. You know, it's your it's you making a bad throw. It's you trying to, you know, squeeze something where it shouldn't have been. For the most part, I, I, I take, you know, 99.9% .9 responsibility of interceptions. Every once in a while, you get those fluky interceptions where, you know, somebody might dive and catch it right before it hits the ground or one of those type of interceptions. But for the most part, you know, when interception happens, it's my fault. You know, uh, fumbles, you can't really prevent, you know, even if you cover up, you know, preventing a fumble is, is not easy to do. Right here, he hits me with the no huddle. He, again, uh, had a custom playbook. He had pistol in it as well. Catches me with a, a no huddle wide receiver screen. And I'm thinking to myself, really? Did I just screen, 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 screen? Good call by him. I mean, who would think to run a third, a 3 and 21 screen? Uh, he would, and it worked out for him. So, as you already see, man, I'm already in must-need passing situations. On top of that, they don't really have a rushing offense, so I'm not really running the ball too much. And you see, man, almost every single play, he's only, you know, rushing one and just allowing, you know, that defense to just sit back in coverage, knowing I, I pretty much got to, you know, pass the ball. You know, the few times I did try to run, not really having that much success because the 49ers stopped to run, you know, the best in the game. So, uh, you know, trying to do my best that I can passing, trying to give me some momentum going. I do get ball at halftime, so scoring here definitely would be huge uh we take a run to the outside and you got to be careful you know bernard is a very small back and these linebackers hit viciously hard so uh definitely got to be careful of that but actually right there we end up uh, spinning to the inside and we end up getting a touchdown so that right there was big you know uh 10 to 21 it is now a one possession game if we get ball at halftime and score so that's exactly what it is i'm looking to do you know hopefully i can go on ahead get ball at halftime 
and uh, make it a one possession game and see how he plays from there. You know, what I mean? he was up 21-3, so he might play a little differently if he uh, if it's a close game. So, you know, he's hitting me with the pistol that he has uh, right here, wide receiver screen, but he goes over towards the left. And I'm sorry, Simba, no, Simba, you give it to me, baby. And we actually get Terrence Newman with the huge interception. We do get. Uh, Stopped by a guard about 50 yard line. So we got enough time for about maybe one play. And uh, we do a really quick um, outside shoulder streak. We got our receiver that just destroyed the press. So we get a field goal range. And now it's a one possession game. And right there, we're like, yes, that right there was huge. So we go into halftime, one possession game. We get the ball back. And now, you know, I feel confident again. You know, like I said, I was down 21 to 3. You know, uh, let's see if we can go on ahead and hopefully, you know, uh, score. Go on ahead, get the two-point conversion, and tie the game. And, and let's see if we can uh, hopefully be able to change how he plays from there and out. You know what I mean? So some people play differently. You know, if they'll have a big lead and they're down, you're going to rattle them. They're going to go on ahead and, you know, make bad mistakes. And that's all I'm hoping for, just for me to go on ahead and, and hopefully put them in a position where I can force some mistakes. So, uh, right there, we actually run into the end zone. We do go for two, and unfortunately, we fail. Uh, he did like a... Uh, I don't know what type of blitz it was, but uh, he set the cornerbacks on the blitz, and they were they came in untouched and catch, uh, tackled me before I could even hit the outside. So good play call by him. So we're down two, but we're still in this ball game. You know what I mean? A 16 straight unanswered, and uh, there he is running his playbook, and it's very very frustrating. You know, uh, going up against somebody like I, I don't have any type of. Um, custom set on defense so he's no huddling and i really can't adjust and it's it's frustrating you know like i said the the things that uh frustrate me and do very well against me is people who run the ball very well people who play faggy and people who know huddle and he's doing all three of them you know what i mean so it, it, it's making it be one very very frustrating game you know uh, he's doing a very good job moving the ball offensively uh you know he's running the ball effectively he's passing the ball when he needs to he's finding open seams you know, I'm really having trouble stopping. Right here, I felt, you know, we might have a chance. Third and 11, and then just hits me with the corner around here. Whoop! Catch me with the spin. And uh, decides to show both style on me real quick. And, uh, you know, now we're back on offense. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I've scored. On, on I feel confident that I can put the ball in the end zone. You know, I definitely gained confidence after the last couple of drives. So let's see if we go on ahead and do it again. And here we go back again with the Fag D. The one, you know, 1-1-9 uh, one, one, defense. Just backing everybody up in coverage. Uh, as you see, that's pretty much his, his go-to plan. He's only rushing one. Trying to find somebody to get open. Just running around. I'm trying to reroute the guy, but the defender is sticking to the damn kid like glue. I can't create any separation. So at this point, you know, um, he's about to corner, you know, put me in a corner. So I decided to just take off for a couple yards. And again, he's back to the same defense. Um, uh, he has a QB spy this time. So... Uh, thankfully, we hold on to that pass. We, uh, you know, resume our drive, get the first down. So right now, I pretty much know what I'm up with. Man to man with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, random zones from his linemen. And it, it, it frustrates me, you know. But, uh, again, it's, it's my job to beat it. And I'm, you know, trying my best to. A lot of people are like, you know, just run the ball against it. I try running the ball against the Niners. It's not easy. Even if they play fag D, their linebackers react so well. Like, look at this. I run on fag D. Look at that. Just barely get a couple yards. And that's only because he fell forward like four yards. It should have been a two-yard game. You know what I mean? So uh, right there, a bad read by me. Thankfully, I wasn't intercepted. Third and six, man. Just a really quick uh, corner route. Picks up the first down. Let's see if we can go on ahead and score right here. Uh, again, try to swerve the spot, but that is pretty much non-existent. You can't really do that uh, this year. So fourth quarter is here. You know, trying to reroute people. Try, you know, I have plenty of time in the pocket. Just trying to find somebody with all these people playing zones. Again, I got five receivers with nine people covering them. So it's not easy. Right there, we do find somebody in the back of the end zone. And all I can do is just hope for a defensive stop, man. Let me get something go my way. You know, force fumble, turnover, interception, turnover on downs. You know, the Bengals have a very good defense, man. But again, I'm going up against somebody who's just doing very well offensively, man. He's, he's got my number. I can't really stop him you know what i mean uh, same way he's having trouble stopping me as of late i'm having trouble stopping him there he is again with another run stiff arm the hell out of me and he actually takes it all the way to the crib to the end zone so we're back again on offense man so we not we oh not only need to get in the end zone i need to figure out a way to stop this guy because i can't stop him he is just you know doing what he wants to on offense and it's it's always frustrating to just feel like you have no hope in stopping somebody you know what i mean so oh uh, we're down nine <coughs> Again, you know, he's 
pretty much set in in this defense. He's not changing his defense, man. So I'm trying to find somebody open. And after this, I just send a concede. That guy was open. He had space. And he was overthrown by 45 yards. And I just end up conceding the game. So we take another L. We go back-to-back -back losses, man, which is not good. Oh, I absolutely hate losing, period. And we lost back-to-back, -back, man. It does happen. Very frustrating. I, I definitely uh, know that I could play better. I played poorly defensively. As I know, I've always played poorly defensively, but there's usually points where I come through. And the last couple games, I just couldn't. I couldn't come through, make the necessary stops. And um, I end up losing both games, even though they both play faggy, but both of them offensively were very tough to stop. And we end up losing both games. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Your boy GS, I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.